Hi there! Look closely at these two skin lesions. To the naked eye, almost identical. But one is harmless, the other is a programmed killer. A melanoma in invasion mode, ready to hijack your bloodstream. Now look at your skin, the dozens of moles you carry. Are you certain there's no imposter hiding in plain sight? Almost 105,000 Americans will get melanoma diagnosis this year. Over 8,000 won't survive. And yes, melanoma is rare compared to the other skin cancers, but it's the one that kills. Today, we're going to unmask this enemy. We're going far beyond the basic A, B, C, D, E rule you've heard. I'll show you the five signs and disguises that 99% of people and even doctors completely miss. We'll expose the hidden risk factors putting you in danger. And I'll reveal the scientific revolution turning former death sentences into survival stories. But here's the twist. Sign number one on our list contradicts everything you've been told about skin cancer. And it's what saved my patient Sarah's life. But first, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our health tips and click the bell for notifications. And also share this knowledge with your friends and family. By sharing, you are helping saving lives. And tell me, have you or a family member ever had a scare because of a mole on the skin? What was the story? Which part of the US or the world are you from? Write it down below. Let's go. Why is melanoma called the king of metastasis? The skin has several layers. The melanocytes, the cells that give rise to melanoma, live at the base of the topmost layer, the epidermis. When cancer forms, it first grows sideways, but the real danger begins when it decides to go downward, invading the dermis. The dermis is rich in blood vessels and lymphatic channels. Once a melanoma cell reaches that super highway, it can travel to any part of the body. That's why a lesion just a few millimeters on the skin can cause a tumor in the brain. The time to act is the window between lateral growth and vertical growth. And that window can be short. So you must know the five important signs of melanoma and stay alert. Shall we begin? Sign number five, the ugly duckling. Your body has a pattern. Your moles or nevi usually follow that pattern. It's your dermal signature. The ugly duckling sign is when one mole breaks that signature. It's the mole that stands out by being different. Remember the story of the ugly duckling who turned out to be a swan? Well, biologically, this is a red flag because it may represent a new colony of cells that stopped following your body's rules and started multiplying uncontrollably. And yes, your brain is trained to notice that patterns break. So, here's my advice to you. At least once a month, in a well-lit place, look at your skin as a whole. Use a mirror for your back. Don't only look for ugly moles in the classic sense. Look for the different mole, the solitary one, the rebel. That's your first suspect. But the ugly duckling, by definition, is visible. It draws attention. What if the killer is smarter? What if it uses a guerrilla tactic, attacking territories you never consider danger zones, debuking the biggest myth about skin cancer? That brings us to the sign number four, the hidden enemy where the sun doesn't hit. When you begin watching this video, you might have thought, oh doctor, 
but I have brown skin, dark skin. I'm not white, so I'm safe, right? And the answer is, your risk is lower, but it's not zero. Dark skin is not a shield. To prove this, I need to tell a tragic real life story. Let's talk about Bob Marley. I love his music. And maybe you don't know, he died at 36. The cause, a melanoma. It all began in 1977 with a dark spot under the big toenail. The first doctor misdiagnosed it as just a football injury. But the spot worsened, grew, began hurting. A second doctor finally biopsied and discovered the truth. It was a necrolentigenous melanoma, the type that hits palms of hands, soles of feet, and nails. And you don't need sun exposure for it to appear. The recommendation was clear, amputate the toe. Marley refused. He chose a smaller surgery, removing the nail and surrounding tissue. And for a time, he was okay, until in 1980, he fainted in New York. Tests showed the cancer had spread like wildfire. Brain, lungs, stomach, the battle was lost. On his last flight, trying to return to his beloved Jamaica, his body couldn't take it. The plane made an emergency landing in Miami, where he died, weighing just 37 kilos. Bob Marley's story is brutal. It teaches us that nobody is immune. And it shows that this type of melanoma, acro, thus, check the soles of your feet, the palms of your hands, and if you see a vertical dark streak under your nail, especially one single nail that wasn't caused by trauma and doesn't grow out, see a dermatologist immediately. And know that this type while rare in fair-skinned individuals, is the most common in dark-skinned and Asian individuals, breaking the myth that dark skin means no cancer. If a cancer that hides already is scary, imagine one that actively deceives you. Sign number three, the mold that speaks, each pain or bleed. A benign mole is a group of stable sleeping cells. A melanoma is an active lesion, a war with the surrounding tissue. That biological activity can show up physically. Itchiness could mean your immune system is trying unsuccessfully to attack the cancerous cells. Fragility and bleeding with a light touch happen because the tumor builds abnormal and fragile blood vessels to feed itself. Don't normalize these symptoms. If a mole you've had for a while starts itching, hurting, crusting, or bleeding without being injured, it's screaming for attention. Think, why would one single mole among dozen suddenly become a problem? It's a sign of instability. And in the world of cancer, instability means danger. Sign number two, the colorless ghost, a melanotic melanoma. The dark pigment melanin we use to recognize melanoma is actually a side effect of the diseased cell. But what if the cancer is so aggressive and undifferentiated, it loses even the capacity to produce pigment? That's how a melanotic melanoma appears. It shows up as a pinkish, red, or even skin-colored lesion. It may be mistaken for a scar, an insect bite that won't heal, a wart, or even a basal cell carcinoma, a much less aggressive skin cancer. This is the most deceptive melanoma. The rule is any new skin lesion of any color that persists for more than four to six weeks and does not heal deserves professional evaluation. 
Don't trust just the color. Trust the persistence of the lesion. Sign number one, evolution. The one word that changes everything. We'll momentarily forget asymmetry, border, color, diameter. All of these are important, but they are snapshots. The master clue, the key that opens 99% of early diagnosis doors is not a characteristic, it's a movie. It's the only word you truly need to remember from this video. Evolution, change. But why, doctor? Why does this one word surpass all the other rules? The answer lies in the pure biology of cancer. And it's simpler than you think. Imagine your normal benign moles as small peaceful villages on your skin. The cells that form them, melanocytes, were born, clustered, grew to a certain size, and then stopped. They live in harmony with your body, following the rules. They are stable. Cancer, at its essence, is the opposite of stability. It's a cellular anarchy. A melanoma cell is a cell that lost its instruction manual. It forgot how to die and, more importantly, it forgot when to stop multiplying. It only knows one thing, make defective copies of itself without end. And here is the big revelation. This chaotic and endless multiplication, this biological rebellion, is what we see externally as change. A mole that grows, changes color, develops a new border, begins to itch. It's not that mole went crazy. It's the visible physical sign that the biology beneath it is in full-blown war. That's why evolution change is the confession of the crime. A mole might be large, in diameter or asymmetrical asymmetry since birth and be completely harmless. But any mole, anyone that changes is telling you a real time that a rebellion is happening. It's the only sign that is a verb, a sign of action, and it demands your action. It was exactly this understanding that saved the life of Sarah in my clinic. When I called Sarah in, she came visibly distressed. She pointed to a lesion on her leg, red, irritated, itchy. Doctor, I'm scared this might be cancer. I examined it. Even without a dermatologist present, I reassured her. It's dermatitis, a benign inflammation. The relief on her face was immediate. But then, when measuring her blood pressure, I noticed a mole on her shoulder. A tiny mole, multiple colors, asymmetrical, irregular border. I asked, and this one, Sarah? She looked uninterested. Oh, that one? It appeared a few months ago, doctor. It's small, doesn't hurt, doesn't itch. I don't worry about it. Well. The other lesion on her thigh was harmless, but that one on her shoulder was new with multiple alarm signs. It had changed her skin map. It was in evolution. The word screamed in my mind. I asked her to go to a dermatologist immediately. The biopsy confirmed melanoma. We caught it in time by luck and by awareness. Final lesson, know your skin map. Photograph your moles and more important than anything, observe change. It's the most reliable clue because if we act during that window of time, science today can perform miracles. 
Until a few years ago, a melanoma diagnosis with brain metastasis was a death sentence. But in 2015, one story changed everything. Jimmy Carter, former US president, at age 91, discovered his melanoma had spread to four spots in his brain. The scenario was the bleakest possible. But his doctors tried a revolutionary approach, immunotherapy. What happened? A modern medicine miracle. After the treatment, tests showed his brain cancer had disappeared. He didn't just survive, he lived for nearly another decade, passing at 100 years old. His story exploded hope worldwide. We proved it was possible to beat melanoma even at the most advanced stage. Today, thanks to treatments like checkpoints inhibitor immunotherapy, drugs like ipilimumab and nivolumab, which basically take off the cancer's invisibility cloak and enable your own immune system to kill it, we see a different reality. Real patients like Goff Maros, diagnosed in 2017 with brain metastasis, are alive and well today, almost nine years later. This isn't statistics, it's real, tangible hope. And as a final gift for you who made it this far, here's a tool you can use right now and can save your life. The quick ABCDE guide. Save this video. A is for asymmetry. A perfectly round mole turns asymmetric. If you draw a line in the middle, the sides don't match, beware. B is for border. The border is irregular, jagged, not well defined, another red flag. C is for color. The mole shows multiple colors, two, three shades of brown, black, red, again, red alert. D is for diameter, larger than six millimeters, about the size of a pencil eraser. Watch out. E is for evolution, as I said, the most important of the science. The mode changed. It grew, changed color, shape, began to itch or bleed. That's the A, B, C, D, E. When in doubt, consult a doctor, a dermatologist, not a cardiologist. Share this video and help to save a life. Well, we've spent the last few minutes building the best external defense against melanoma, that is knowledge. But what about your internal defense? Watch this next video about the surprising truth about rosemary tea. Did you like the video? It gave you valuable knowledge. Hit the like button and share it. This information needs to reach more people. My name is Dr. Andre Walmir. I'm a cardiologist. This is Dr. Dre Health Tips. Remember to subscribe and until the next video. Thank you so much.